What's up everyone? Today we are going to look at the mage class. Their skills and talents plus future prospects. Mage is the highest DPS dealer and has the most crowd control skills. He or she usually usually tops the rank for AA trial and single boss fight if done right. Okay, the pros about Mitch is that they are the highest damage dealer and can top damage ranking easily. The class with the most crowd control skills, they have uh, they are quite long range. They are very good in daily tasks and events as he or she can clear the most and the fastest. No gender locks. They are very good uh, from early to mid game till Magic Gladiator, Summoner or Lancer is out. The cons will be, this class is very squishy and not agile. Once pinned down, you can kiss the floor for good. And you require heavy controls. Career progressions, I would suggest, um, it's either in the near future, you move into Magic Gladiator or Summoner or even Lancer, okay? Because mages are squishy. And these three new class suggestions here has high damage output too, like the mage, but stronger. You have to note that the elemental types are different for all these three. So today, we are going to show you some of the rebirth 4 clips and we will talk about the talents and the skill as we go along also. Mage has two subclass. One is the Magister. The Magister has a lot of uh, natural damage increase um, as she progress, he or she progress through the rebirth. Like every rebirth, you're going to have um, easily 10% damage increase. And the other one is the Forbidden Mage. Forbidden Mage has a lot of crowd control skills, okay? And for every rebirth, it will have a very high hit rate for the ability to work, okay? So for every rebirth, at least 8% increase for your hit rate for effects. So let's move forward and see how do Mage look for their new skills, for their subclass new skills. Let's have a demonstration. We will start with the Magister. Magister has the highest damage and TPS in the game. This is how the skill playout looks like. Some of the skills here comes from your first seven skills. Okay, and one or one or two of them are the subclass skills and awaken the red one are usually the awaken part okay they cause higher damage and this is how it looks like it has a lot of area of effect style damage very heavy and it's very good for clearing a mass amount of opponent at once okay now we switch to the Forbidden Mage. Forbidden Mage has a lot of um, crowd control ability and usually what it does is that uh, he or she freezes the opponent a lot of time to either slow down or just freeze it for a, a while. The blue skills are all the awakened level plus some of them are the subclass skills. As usual, okay, the ability of uh, the style of the Mage is very huge. Okay, it, it, comes with a lot of uh, AOE and they look very heavy okay look at the amount of damage coming up but of course um, Forbidden Mage damage will be much lesser than the Magister. Magister has the highest damage in the game okay 